What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to go back to a curiosity photo from Sol 3299. Now, we've done this photo before, but we really concentrated on one part of this. This time we're going to do from left to right. And during the time that I'm actually enhancing this photo, my perspective changed. And you'll see what I mean. Let's just jump right into it. And you can see right here, it's a picture postcard from Curiosity's nav cams. Now, what they did on this top photo is they had two times of day. So in other words, the one on the right, you can see the sun up here in the very top. That was 8.30 in the morning. The one over here on the left was at 4.10 p.m. So morning and then evening, right? So what they do is you can see this fine line right here, just off center of the photo. You can see where they had put this together, kind of stitched it and tried to blend it, right? So then you go down to the bottom here. And of course, you can see right here, it says this was a view at 4.10 p.m., local Mars time. And again, 8.30 a.m. local Mars time right here. I grabbed this photo. Now, if you remember, I did a video just on this background here. This time I'm going to do from left to right. Let's just jump right into it. All right, you can see the photo right here. Now, it's pretty cool. Decent quality, right? Not too bad. Now, what I did is I tried to balance this out because you can see the split right here from right being morning and left being evening, right? And you can see the brightest areas is like pretty much right here in the center. So what I tried to do is balance it out. So we wanted to bring up the darker areas and bring down the brighter areas, okay? Now, we did that. Okay, that's pretty decent. Now, let me show you right off the bat, there's something here in this foreground. Let's have a look. Right here, I want you to look at the shapes that are right here in this area right here alone. Do you folks see, let me put this in the center, these squares right here. One, kind of going like this, a little shaky on that square, but it's still there. 90 degree corner here and one over here. Let me take this arrows away. You see that? Look at this piece right here. And going like that. See that? Okay. What could possibly do that in nature? Now, after we enhance it, this is what we get. Try to brighten up this part right here, and this is what we have. Put a little sharpness into it right there. See that? Okay. Now, I want to take you along like I did when I first started to enhance this. Went from here all the way to the right. Now, let's back up here a little bit and have a look at the perspective. Now, this rover at the very top of the mass is seven foot tall. So even if your head stood right around here next to this antenna, let's say this is your head, okay, walking over there is probably not that far. Now, what about way back here down in the bottom here? How much of a distance are we talking? That might be quite far. Now here, obviously it's not quite as far, and anything on the right would be closer, right? So I'm trying to get a perspective and when you see what I'm about to show you, it's just going to blow your mind. So let's just get further into this. Let me show you what I've got. Started doing this here. Now, obviously, you'll see more outlines and you will see features because this is off in the distance, okay? But have a look at some of these features here. Okay? See that right there? Just going to circle a couple of things that eh, kind of stuck out for me. This area right here. Not too many details. Again, it's off in the distance. So let's keep going to this side. And you can see some of these objects, like right here in these whited areas. And by the way, folks, that's what you want to see. You want to see these white platforms right here. You see that right here? Look at this. We're looking for lines here as well, folks. But notice what looks like two holes right here. And you can see it's surrounded, kind of doing this. Okay, something right here. Okay, check that out. 
Now, as we go along to the right, now this isn't 100% enhanced yet, but you'll see that in a moment. Folks, look at the objects up here. Just the shapes alone should jump out at you. You should be saying, okay, how do we have like 80, 60, or 90 degree angles sitting on a hill? Now, is it possible that you can have 90 degree angles in nature? Sure. But we have these 90 degree angles going in multiple directions. And then, of course, you have squares and circles and everything else involved with it. you got to question that, right? And, of course, right hand on the right hand side. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of things that stand right out, folks. Clearly are not natural. It's one thing to have like a vague shadow or a vague shape of something. But when you have something that literally stands out, especially once you enhance it, wow. Like these objects right here. Look at the shapes of these objects. You see a little line right there. Okay. But look at it doing this. Going across. Kind of a rounded face to it. It seems to be going down. But you can also see what looks like another leg right there. You can see something inside this. Kind of echoing the same shape as the top. You also have something back here. Okay. Now. You can see that there. That to me is not natural. Also take note of the white you see right here. That's what we want to see. Now, the question is, people will say, but is that really an object? You can bet if this shape is here, coming down, like I said, does this, has this separation line right here, so on and so forth. You can bet if that pot right here is white, so isn't the rest of it. But we could take texture from the ground and put that all over this. Of course, it can have some kind of dirt on top of it over the course of years and it's kind of has that look to it, that's a good possibility, but just that alone. Now, let's have a look at these other rocks at the top here. Now, this is where it really gets bizarre. Now, talk about a total flip in the way you see things, okay? We see this right here. Almost looks like this weird object coming down like this right here, right? And doing this and some kind of weirdness going on, right? At least that's what I thought when I first saw this. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense. But also look at the objects in here. What look like round pieces, just weird shapes in here. Again, look at the white pieces right here, folks. Check this out. Right there. Right here. You can get just the very edge of them sticking out. Okay? And I'm going to show you that a whole lot more in a moment. Now, let's get into the full enhancement. I'm just going to back out. Okay, here's the full enhancement. Now, let's have a look at the left-hand side. And we'll make this brief going across this. But check this out. Again, look at these funky shapes in here. Okay. Just those weird shapes inside. See that? All right. Move it over to the right. Starting to bring some of this out. I'm just going to go over this slowly. Pause it wherever you like, folks. Again, we're not going to see too many details because this is way off in the distance. As we come over to the right, we start to get a little bit more details. Not as much as I'd like to see, but it doesn't matter. There's a whole lot of these shapes in here. Here's a perfect example. Focus your eyes on these shapes in here. Shapes are everything. Now, even if you cannot see like the actual item and what it may be, these shapes all in this area and if you get them all together, they're not natural. Here's that area I was telling you about earlier. And again, we got one, two. It looks like a round piece sticking up on the one on the left. And it looks like holes on the other two. But look at the base or foundation of this object. What is going on here? Okay. These are supposed to be rocks. I'm not so sure about all that. Look inside of this area. And you can see other objects inside, very faint, but they did their best to block it out. We have these other objects in the back here, like I said earlier. Now, folks, this is where it gets really crazy. Now, we're going to bounce over to the right-hand side and have a look. Now, let's fully enhance. Okay. You can see this object on the left side, or objects here, all in here. Check that out. 
Folks, what we're looking at is not just rocks and mountains. Not looking at that at all. Here, like I said before. Again, look at the shapes in this area. Clearly, not natural. Now, here's another wild part. I told you about this object here, or something coming down right here. Is it that, or is it some kind of hanger type thing? Notice the way this thing goes down like this, other pieces, something right here, nice and straight. We have other pieces on top. Now, either these people built very unorthodox compared to what we build, or this area was subject to some kind of catastrophic event. It's as simple as that. So your perspective changes when you look at it like this. But notice the edge here. You can see it very faintly going like this. Sticks out a little bit, goes up like this, and you can see it coming up. You can see a corner right here. Check this out. Bring the lines out. What exactly are we seeing here? Is it something just standing by itself here? Or is it an opening or part of an, a very large structure? This one right here. Remember I kept telling you guys about buttes. The buttes are not buttes. I think they're actually structures being hidden by making this stuff look like actual natural mountains and rocks. In fact, here it is right here. Just the shapes in this area. Again, we'll balance it out and we'll bring up the exposure. And there you go. Just these objects alone inside here. Once we fully enhance this, look at the way this thing looks. Like there's something here, like there's mechanical parts inside this. Again here, look at these pieces down here. It looks like chaos. It doesn't look like something you'd build here on Earth. In other words, you wouldn't see a structure on its side like this part here. This looks like it's coming down or slid down a mountain. Speaking of that area right there, let me go down to this area, down here. Look at this area right here. Why do we have what looks like a nice straight area coming straight down around a rock? I'm not sure that's uh, natural, guys. See that right there? You can see it right here just barely, and then it goes across, and then comes back down, and you can see the side of that there. See that? And like I said, up here even, when I look at this, I see parts. I see junk. I see stuff laying all over the place. And like I said, if you were to look at this area alone, pause this, have a look at this area, look at these objects. They look like they slid down. Is it really mountains, folks, or much bigger structures? I believe the latter. I believe these are larger structures. Now, let me back up and show you the perspective of the rover, okay? You can see that structure here on the right-hand side. Well, it's supposed to look like a butte, really, on the right-hand side right there, right here. I'll do it in the purple here so you can see it a little bit better in the light. You can see that. Now, again, if you're standing right here, okay, you can literally walk over to here, and these structures are right there. Now, remember the real Jimmy Roberts, when Jimmy said these things or these buttes, when he measured them, they were anywhere between 16 and 30 feet in height. Okay, so if that's true, we're looking at structures here as far as I'm concerned. Now, did the civilization build into these buttes or did they just design them that way to look like buttes? I don't know. Either way, these are not mountains. I can see the parts inside this thing. And I can see the way these are intelligently built. Now, is it possible that what's behind this butte here, that's a larger structure? And we're seeing stuff has fallen down or slid down from it. Like I said, you can see this coming down like this. And you can see with these whiter pieces sticking out. And there's a lot more of this. Look at this. Right on the hill here. How did this civilization build? Was it strictly technological? You know, it, you try to wrap your head around this to try to figure out what is the deal here. And folks, this is more complex than we can ever imagine. Now, it, it appears like it has older structures and newer structures, or it's just the way they build into these mountains or their structures to make them look like hills and buttes. I don't know. Whatever this thing is, again, even though it's one on the left-hand side of this uh, butte, 
like I said, if you were to go back, look at the perspective you get. Like, is it just something on the side of this particular butte? Well, structure. Or is it an actual opening or part of another structure? Bring out the lines. This is what you get. So what is going on? Right there. And like I said, this hillside, suppose a hillside, and I've done this before, again, with these here. Just them parts. Look closely. You see pieces of what look like coming off this. See that right there? Check that out. Can't really see it right there because we darkened it. But you can see it right here. Get a closer look. You can see this thing's literally going like this and then into here. Something's sticking up right there. I'm not sure if it goes up like this. It kind of looks like it does a little bit. And you don't really see it. But again, shapes like this here. Folks, come on. See that? Really, really cool stuff. I'm just going to bring this back out. Is it an area where it's been hit hard with some kind of catastrophic event? I would say yes, only because I'm seeing things like this that are laying on this hill. Doesn't make much sense. This right here. If that's the way they build, it's totally unorthodox what we do here. But have a look at that. It's cool. Folks, I'm going to let you be the judge on these two large items right here. I believe this butte here on the side is a structure. It's disguised. And I believe that this photo shows technological advancement on their part. As always, you guys can tell me what you think. And we'll leave it just like this. Pause it right here and have a look, folks. And there you go. Folks, I believe that butte on the right-hand side is not a butte. Either they just happen to construct their stuff that looks like a butte, or it's been built into it, or it is being hidden to look like a butte, and yet you can recognize shapes what look like mechanical parts all down the side of it. That object on the side of it, it looks like something very narrow, kind of like sloping down next to it, but when you bring all the lines out, suddenly it looks like it's part of a hangar type thing, and you could go into it. Is it something that's part of this other larger item to the right of it? I don't know. But either way you look at it, these objects are not natural. And it looks like they were pretty technologically advanced. Now, some of the areas we see, they really don't look technologically advanced. And then you see stuff like this. Pretty crazy. Folks, drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, more Moon, more Mars. And I do have the others I've been promised you guys coming up as well. So stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.